bit about the tower and the tower spring settings. So when you come in, you should see the following on your tower. You have a roll back bar that will probably be hidden behind the tower frame. Always make sure that the clips are not twisted. That may require you to actually undo a clip, fix it, and then put it back on, on both sides, including the bottom clips and the top clips. We never really move these um, from the setting that they're on, but just so you know, there's a set of clips that start at the top. They come down one, and then there's a little space, one, two, three, four, and then there's a big space. The rollback bar goes on the eye hook that's just above this big space. So that's where it will always be. If you have to move it up or down, that's where we want to end with it, okay? So I'm gonna put that back. Your leg springs typically will go on the third eye hook from the bottom. So now we count from the bottom up. Here's one, two, and three. Typically, we hook our hooks with the eye hook facing out. It's a lot easier to unclip and remove or add when they're facing out as opposed to facing in. Your arm springs are on the very bottom eye hook, also facing out. Your push-through bar, which we'll use for push-through or teaser, will rise up, and this spring that attaches to it will never move. It's always going to be here. It's got a really tight, um, should be tighter, it's got a really tight uh, hook here, and that stays hooked the whole time. So you'll hook it to the top eye hook, and then you'll do your exercises, and then when you're done, you would remove the hook. If you're going to do the tower exercise, what we call this bottom loaded, this, by the way, is top loaded. If we go to bottom load, we will take our safety chain, which is hanging from the top, and it looks just like that, it's a chain. I'm on the wrong side, which is why that was challenging for me. And you'll hook that on first. When I let this go, it is there, and it's safe. From there, I would bend down and grab only one of my bottom loaded springs, my bottom springs, and attach it to whichever side. There's one that can attach to one side and one to the other. So just pick one, attach it to the bottom eye hook, and you would be ready to do your exercise. When you're done, we leave the safety chain on until the very end. So I would remove the bottom spring, place it down, remove my safety chain. Be careful because this would fall if I'm not holding on to it. Attach my, my safety chain out of the way and then let my push-through bar hang down. Um, I think that's about it. We always want to make sure that our mat is close to the frame and not moved away and that it's centered with your frame. Enjoy, have a fun class.